I've been watching all types of bike racing for many years, and I think it's brilliant. However, I've always found time trials to be a little bit boring. That was until 2020 when this happened. This is a ride that is absolutely breathtaking. This rider is about to win the Tour de France. So I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, this time we're not in a circuit race, but instead on our way to a time trial. Since the uh, channel's doing so well, I've managed to upgrade and I've now got my very own cameraman. Say hi. Hello. That was the worst thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> hi guys. Uh, he's more just a, a big fan and uh, I gave him this opportunity. Wow, one hand around the corner of field, that's not bad that. <laughs> you might have noticed that I'm not on a time trial bike. I couldn't really justify having yet another bike filling up my bedroom. Uh, you know, the girlfriend would complain. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, I'm on a fairly aero road bike, got my aero tyres, wheels. Shot. There's a road bike category, so let's see if I can win that. Don't know how many people will be in it, but yeah, let's go and find out. Pre race thoughts? Well, you know, aim is probably just to, uh, you know, keep, I'll probably ride my own race, um, not, not worry too much about what everyone else is doing. You know, I haven't really ridden much. For about three weeks, uh, three weeks off the bike due to an injury. This is my first week back, so this is kind of almost like a basically an FTP test, just find out where I am. I'm gonna aim for around 300 watts, see if I can hold back the whole time, but yeah, I'm not sure. Probably I would have dropped off a bit, so we'll see how it goes. Sounds like a lot of excuses, mate. <laughs> <laughs> always gotta have your excuses ready. <laughs> So we're not quite in the south of France doing a time trial up a mountain which will decide the outcome of the yellow jersey. We're instead in Tadcaster in the north of England doing a local 10 mile time trial. But Ooh, it was still, harder. it's quite easy to go out of the, well, metaphorical gates here a bit too hard. And that's probably what I did, uh, just putting a bit too much power down at the start. But quite quickly I get into my rhythm and trying to keep that steady power uh, throughout the ride just coming up here so this is uh, my teammate Stu Master. from Alba Rosa give him a bit of encouragement he's uh, he's nearly at the end now on the uh, return leg and then yeah just trying to keep as low as possible in that aero position trying to save as many watts as I can coming up here got my minute marker which was a nice bit of kind of motivation to aim for he was also on a road bike and yeah able to pass him uh, and and carry on but that was quite a good a good kind of marker to to get to fairly early on then yeah just keep pushing on this was quite a fast section the outward leg uh, got some people on their return legs on the outside the road there but yeah just pushing on you get this lovely angle of my pain face from below here and uh yeah not not the most flattering angle but you can definitely see at times that i'm uh yeah, pushing, pushing hard. Coming up to already now the halfway point and yeah, just kind of cruise around here. Take this quite well because I had my minute marker behind me Cheers. catching me up. I could see going into that roundabout and with that managed to distance him a bit. Right, cameraman's back. Just making my way down to the finish line. Just had the first couple of people come back. Both of them really, really panting, and uh, both of them said it was really hard. Yeah, they said uh, the way back, they said, was a solid like, uphill climb for pretty much the whole thing. So, see how he gets on. 
climb was maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but there definitely was more elevation gain on the return leg than the outward leg. Maybe on a time trial, it, it seems more. But yeah, that was something to consider. But overall, the event was really good. It was really good fun. It was well run. Everyone was really friendly. So this was Mike, my minute marker behind me, catching me up and going past. He was riding really well. Yeah, I had a chat with him afterwards and he was really nice. And yeah, the whole the whole thing obviously very different to a road race, a crit race, but in its own way, really good because you know, there's not that constant fear of the people riding around you kind of taking a corner sketchily or uh, looking like they might slide out or, or crash into you. Um, it was nice to just kind of focus on putting as much power and effort as you could into the race and yeah, seeing how you end up. However, this is one of the downsides because we do this just on oh, open no roads. Idea and at this point I hit a block of traffic and it was really frustrating because there just wasn't really much I could do. I could maybe try and overtake them but it just felt a bit too dangerous and risky to do that so yeah I stuck behind them. Um, unfortunately they got stuck behind a slower rider in front of me and yeah I just had to sit kind of soft pedaling behind them biding my time. There was this opportunity where I thought okay I'm just gonna go for it because it had really slowed down uh, and I managed to get past them, got behind this lorry, didn't want to go because that just felt a bit too far. Luckily the lorry found an opportunity to get past the rider so I sprinted trying to get behind it. I know technically you're not allowed to draft however I thought it was only fair seeing as I'd been held up for that long to try and get a little bit of boost and then yeah it was about 30 more seconds until the finish where I was just sprinting to the end. So yeah it could have gone better and I think I could have put maybe a bit more power out or effort out throughout the thing um, but I still had a pretty good run out. Uh, the rider in front of me who I was catching just before I caught him this lorry and three cars overtook me and then didn't overtake him so they were just sitting behind him and I got to them and it was just yeah it was quite a slow pace and uh, held me up for probably a good minute and yeah not ideal but otherwise it went pretty well I thought I got my minute marker pretty early on and then my minute marker behind me got me after after the turn. So what was what? my time size? So I thought I wanted sub 25 before going into it. Tw sub 27 was my like, okay, yeah, I, 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 bit, yeah, yeah. that was like my, without, due to my fitness, you know, my excuses. Uh, <laughs> having not cycled, sub 27 I'd be happy with. Yeah, okay, well, you'll be happy to know. It was a 2511. <laughs> okay, no, so you might good. not be happy to know, but. <laughs> no, that's good. I'll, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I thought you'd be pretty for that. But yeah, then decent. you wanted a sub 25, and you say if you didn't get stuck behind. Yeah, I definitely would have got sub 25. Yeah. So. Um, so there you go. Happy days. Yeah. On to the next one.